Hey everybody, Mike here. I'm in the basement of my home and you are wherever you are. But that's the thing, if you're at home, you can actually follow along with me. I burped. Today we're gonna to learn a little bit about bones and we're gonna learn a lot about how calcium minerals dissolve in mild acid. That's right, we're gonna make bendy bones. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need for the bendy bones experiment. Some chicken bones. Some vinegar, any kind of vinegar will do. And lots and lots of patience, as this experiment will take one to two weeks to fully develop. All right, I have my solution of vinegar. Well, of course, it's a solution. Vinegar is a solution of 5% acetic acid. Acetic acid is a mild acid. Not all acids are equal. Some are milder than others, and this is a solution of only one part out of 20 acetic acid. So it's very safe to handle, as you well know. Here's my chicken bones. Now my grandfather, my late grandfather, would not be happy with me. He would say, Mickey, you didn't, that's what he called me, Mickey, you don't, you didn't clean your bones good enough. But uh, as you can see, these are rigid and doing what a bone should do. And uh, it's hard to hold the camera and place bones in vinegar. So basically we're gonna put the bones in the vinegar and we're going to go do something for a couple weeks. Okay, it's been a couple weeks, and I have my little, uh, my bones here, and they've been soaking in the vinegar the whole time, and whoop, whoop, <laughs> whoop, whoop, and when I kind of, whoop, and they don't break. They're really, really flexible. It'll freak you out. These fatter ones are harder to make bend, but they bend. So why does that happen? Let's see if I can actually bend it in half. It doesn't even break. Very, 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 very flexible. So let's go talk about what is going on there and what happened over those two weeks while the bones soaked in the vinegar. Whoa, so what happened there? What happened is bones aren't just made of one thing. Bones are quite complex, and I'm not a biologist, but I can tell you this. Bones are roughly two-thirds protein, like that flexible protein at work, that's collagen, and one-third mineral, like the mineral calcium phosphate. Calcium phosphate dissolves an acid, and vinegar will actually do the work of it if you let the bones soak long enough as it dissolves out of the bones and then they lose their rigidity. So that's what happened in the bendy bones experiment. And before I leave you, here is a rendition of a chicken whose leg bones have been soaked in vinegar. Okay, um, I hope you found that humorous. <laughs> um, bye.